hello everyone welcome to my channel today we have classic guitar to light it's an amazing little plugin with guitar sound with lots of elements to it it's quite simple and easy to use here you have main tab in here with pan cut off and tune and in here you have ADSR and modulation with depth and rate you have distortion right here with reverb on it which is actually nice even the chorus is great in here it sounds really good and you have delay in here here you have the preset tabs and they actually sounds good I'll show you the demo of it and the link is in the description and I also show you how to get it how to install it so I'll show you in the next part of the video but first of all let me show the demo of it Let's tweak some of these knobs and let's see what it does, okay? Just 5 presets and they sound really incredible, they sound great, totally worth checking out. You see with bit of tweaks here and there it sounds more wide and more soulful. It's a great little plugin, it's definitely worth checking out. And in this next part I'll show you how to get it and then install it inside your FL Studio. So let's go. So guys this is where you get this plugin, link is in the description. 
just click and it will head you to this website scroll down here you're gonna find a download button so click in here and it will bring you to the next page in here you have to type in zero and click on I want this you have to put your email in here after putting your email in here click on I accept and click on get after that you're gonna get your download links for Mac and Windows also the presets so you can download according to your OS I'm gonna download for Windows VSC3 and also these presets so after downloading both the files the presets and the VST tree it's gonna be in zip file so we have to extract it so after extracting let's open up our VST tree folder And here you have the VST3 file let's copy it and we're gonna paste it on C drive program files common files VST3 and we're gonna paste it right here okay after that load up your Apple studio go to options file settings manage plugins and click on in find install plugins and it will scan the plugins and it should be right here we can close this now click on this plugin icon click on install click on generators and it should be right here okay let's drag and drop it on our channel rack now we're gonna have to locate this the instrument the preset folder okay now click on choose folder now here you have to locate the same preset folder right here click here select this and click on select folder and it should open up the presets and the plugin should work just like that okay so this is how you install this plugin and i really hope this video helps guys this is pretty much it for this video please comment rate subscribe and share and i will see you in the next video guys peace i'm out